In this lesson, we're going to learn about the order of operations. And the order of operations are, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And the tricky thing about this is parentheses, exponents, multiply, division, addition, and subtraction. You don't always multiply before you divide. You, in this case, you do whichever one is on the left first. Then over here, addition and subtraction, you don't always add before subtracting. Sometimes you subtract first. It depends on whichever problem, whichever operation is on the left in the problem. For example, let's take a look at 8 minus 3 times negative 4 divided by 2 plus 4. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to and make that multiplication a little bit more obvious. Well, there are no parentheses, there are no exponents. Now we're supposed to multiply and divide. And we multiply in this problem because it is on the left compared to the division. So this is a 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12. So now we have 8 minus negative 12 divided by 2 plus 4. Now we divide because there are no parentheses, there's no exponents, there's no multiplication, so we have division. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. So now we have 8 minus negative 6 plus 4. Now some people think you might want to add next, but you don't. Since subtraction is on the left of this problem, we're actually going to subtract first. So 8 minus negative 6 is 14, positive 14, plus 4, and the, the final answer is 18. One more example over here. We've got negative 20 divided by 3 plus 7 in parentheses times 2. Well, first thing we're going to do is parentheses. So 3 plus 7 is 10. So now we have negative 20 divided by 10 times 2. What are we going to do next? Are we going to do the division or the multiplication? Well, in here, even though the M comes before the D, since the division is on the left in this problem, we're going to divide next. Negative 20 divided by 10 is negative 2 times 2. So the final answer here is negative 4.